In this little video, I'm going to talk about the difference between arcs that we use often in curved crosshatching and arcs that we use to make concentric circles. And you might think, well, what's the difference? In this particular quilt, you can see I used the same arc over and over and over again. Now, it was not a concentric circle. It is the same repeated arc. And so one tool does the trick for making all those curved lines. However, this quilt, you can see this circle is half an inch bigger than that circle. And this circle here is, you know, half an inch smaller. So half on this side and half on the other side of the quilt. But these are concentric circles. So I hope you can see those. In this black quilt, you can see a little bit better because they're simpler. And each arc that I use there has to be bigger than the one before. And so you couldn't use a 20 inch arc again and again and again and again and get a good result. Uh, you need to use a different size arc for each circle. So you can see there's a problem in that it takes a lot of tools to help you do that. Here I drew out uh, the same arc repeated over and over. And you can see the etched lines here on the tool. They collapse in on each other over at the ends. They're not a quarter inch away from each other because it's a 10 inch circle repeated over and over and over. So here it looks great and you can't tell that they're collapsing on each other. But if you tried to go further out, you would be able to tell because the lines would get closer and closer to each other. That's why I came up with the Renee's Mini Rays a long time ago. It's probably a 10 years old by now, this tool that I use all the time. It helps me to draw lines that are concentric circles, like a big compass. So basically, I put my pen in one of these holes and then spin it around and get the next size circle. Then to stay on that line, you need a different size arc for each one. So here I made circles with Renee's mini rays and I have these arcs that are meant to work together as concentric circles laid out to show which circle they would make, taking into account quarter inch hopping foot. So you're going to get a 12 inch circle on this side and on this other side, you'll get a 17 inch circle. And each one of these arcs is going to give you two different sizes of circles. So this is what you'd use for concentric circles. Curved cross hatching works better if you have the same, just one tool, and you make sure that you get it big enough. Now, these curved cross hatching arcs are best from here to about here. Once you start using this part, the circle collapses on itself. So even though your distance isn't that long always, sometimes you need a longer ruler uh, so that your circles or your arc does not collapse on itself. Make sure you buy the right tool for the right job.